In the Atwood's machine experiment, we're going to have two different masses. Uh, it's important to know that you mass each hanger system um, with all the masses in the hanger together as one unit. And you mass the other hanger as a system. This whole thing is mass two, and this whole one is uh, mass one. There are values written in the lab manual, or possibly they are in the template. Uh, those are just suggested values to start at this and to go to this. Uh, it's not important that you match those exactly. The idea is just the ballpark. Uh, another misconception is that, that these washers are inaccurate uh, because they're not exactly five grams. Well, that's true. They're not five grams, but please do not insult the washer. Uh, it, it does have a mass, and accuracy or uncertainty deals with measurement, not with its existence, okay? So, so be careful with those terms. You're going to be measuring its, oops, you're going to be measuring its actual mass, and that's what we're concerned with. And you can measure all the way out to a tenth of a gram on this balance, and we want you to do that. And it's also a good idea, whenever you use a balance, to make sure it's zeroed. There's, so this one is slightly below zero over here. And so on the other side of the balance, there's a knob that you can turn to add more mass to this side or less mass by moving it in and out. And so I'm going to move it out just a little bit. And it takes a couple minutes just to adjust it this way and that way until you get it perfectly balanced or as, as good as you, you desire. After you do that, it's important that you do not move the mass balance. That it stays right where it is on the table. Here's the pulley system. And there's a string that we're going to attach both the hangers to. We'll put the heavier one over here on, um, on the right-hand side. And we'll put the lighter one over here, mass one. Now, it is not important that you coordinate the computer recording with the dropping. And what I mean by that is as long as this light is off, see there's spokes here that are intercepting a, um, a, a photo beam. When the spokes hit it, it registers a spoke. So as long as it's off, and you can just hold it there and click record, the computer is actually not going to take data. It's not going to take data until it sees motion. So just hold it still and have your partner hit record and then when you're ready let it go. When you're ready have your partner click record and then simply let go and you want to be ready on this side to catch it. You do not want the masses to run into this pulley and you also want to catch it gently. So kind of go with the mass for a little bit. It's okay if you're touching it at the end because the good data is going to be down in here when you weren't touching it. You also want to make sure that you don't have a massive swing on this, um, on these masses. That's going to really mess up your data. So try to stabilize them and then let it go and catch it like that. And try to get it in such a way that you're going to catch the masses so that the masses don't fall off. Um, that kind of makes a mess. Then you're just going to move one mass from one side to the other. Now, it is no fair to find the mass of this and do a calculation to write down your new mass 1 and new mass 2. That's cheating. You actually need to take this off without the mass on it, move the mass over to the other one, and mass its new value and call that mass 1. The reason you don't want to mass just this single one and move it over is you end up having additive error um, and you want to minimize the error as much as you can. When you're all done with the experiment, please, 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 when you're all done with the experiment, please, 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 when you're all done with the experiment, please, 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 please be kind to the next lab group and uh, make sure you have the right number of washers and masses. Make sure the string is nearby and that the table's organized. And again, do not take hangers or washers from another table. Please talk to your instructor if you're missing these things. 
if these if these hangers hit the ground with mass on them, they have a pretty high chance of breaking. So please be very careful when they're going up and down on the pulley. Here's a little food for thought. Consider the string moving along this pulley. Now, is there friction between the string and the pulley? Is there friction between the pulley and its bearings down at the axis? Which friction do you need and which friction are you trying to minimize? So there's just a little something to think about.